geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Electrolysis. Electrolysis is the process where compounds are broken down using electricity. Electrolysis has three main uses. The first is a tool to study chemical reactions. The second is to plate other materials, such as plating alloys with gold when making jewellery. The third use is to extract pure elements from their compounds, such as copper, chlorine and aluminium. How does electrolysis work? If we take a solid ionic salt and replace it in an electrical circuit and turn it on, the solid salt will not conduct electricity. But there are two things we can do to our solid to make it conduct electricity. The first is to melt it so the charged particles, the ions, are free to move about, so making an electrical current, so making the lamp light up. The second is to dissolve the ionic solid in water, which enables the ions to move freely in the solution with the resultant electrical current making the lamp light up. These two methods produce electrolytes, substances we can electrolyze, the first being a molten electrolyte, the second an electrolytic solution, where the ions are dissolved in water. What apparatus do we need? If we take an ionic solid, such as the green coloured salt called copper chloride, or CuCl2, if we look at the ions in it, we find positively charged copper ions bonded with negatively charged chloride ions. We know there are two things we can do to our solid to enable it to conduct electricity, being either melt it or dissolve it in water. However, melting salt is costly due to the cost of the energy needed, so it is cheaper and easier to dissolve it in water. With our solid copper chloride salt, to make it into a solution, we get a beaker of water, tip some into the water, stir it, and so make copper chloride solution. If we make an electrical circuit, adding a lamp to see if an electrical current is flowing, and place this above our electrolytic solution, the copper chloride solution, we then join the two by placing two carbon rods called electrodes into the solution. The positive electrode being the anode, and the negative electrode being the cathode. When we turn the switch on, the lamp lights, as a current is now flowing because the positively charged cations are attracted to the oppositely charged negative cathode, and the negatively charged anions are attracted to the oppositely charged positive anode. Wow! If we then study our apparatus, we see two products forming. At the negatively charged cathode, we have positive cations of copper being deposited. And at the positively charged anode, we have negatively charged chloride ions being attracted to it. These chloride anions then bonding with each other to form molecules of chlorine gas. In summary, from the ionic salt called copper chloride, by using electrolysis, we can extract two products, the non-metal chlorine in the form of a gas and copper as a solid metal. That's amazing! Please do watch our Geology and a Jiffy videos about a model to explain electrolysis and extracting aluminium from its ore by using electrolysis. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!